Antoine Smith joining us now to talk about part two of his four-part exclusive series where he got the chance to suit up and work out with the Baltimore Orioles. Pretty exciting stuff. I, I tell you, man, it doesn't get any bigger than this. No. You know, after going and learning through the, uh, the team's stretching regimen, which is a... Uh, Quite the workout in itself. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, today we're turning the page and we're talking about swinging the bat. Yes, we're talking hitting. Hitting is an art, and when you're in the major leagues, it's a fine art that has very few flaws, especially if you plan on sticking around and playing at the big league level. I got the chance to knock off the dirt off my cleats and dig in. Now it's time to see what I can do in the cage here before we got on the field. Uh, we'll see what happens in the game. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Just looking for contact, really. Too bad. Quick hands. But the real test is where it goes on the field. Sound effects sound good here, but it only matters on the field. But before I took my swings, I had to find out just what makes a good hitter. Basically, a good hitter, by the time by the time they get to my level, their balance is fairly good, and, and you want a consistent path to the ball. Right. And the path consists of where a batter holds his hands where the sweet spot is and what that sweet spot does in getting to the ball. Well, you don't get a hit every time up, but you're always close to getting a hit and then a little adjustment here and there and you get right back in track. Uh, when you look at spring training, the progression, I mean, you guys are just starting out here, but as they continue to progress, I mean, do you want them coming out having that sweet path in the beginning? Should they already be fine-tuned? You know, how's that well, it varies. Go? It varies. Guys come from different parts of the country. Some guys come from foreign countries. Um, what you like, really, is for the younger players not to have developed any bad habits sure. over the off season. Okay. When they get back okay. under my okay. eyesight, oh. under my vision, oh. <laughs> and I like I like them to be somewhere where we left off last right. spring. Well, I don't have last spring to go off, just the here and now. And it was now time for me to take some hacks. Though rusty... My mindset was to act out Coach Crowley's philosophy of staying short to the ball on contact and long through it afterwards. So we talk about okay. path to the ball. Yeah. <laughs> now, if I were gonna if I were gonna help you, in a nutshell, what I would say is you had a pretty good setup when the ball started coming. You started winding up and going here. Ah. And going here. Okay. You had a little too much legs and hips going into it before you concentrated on a little better contact okay. straight to the ball and then finishing big. We like to say short to the ball, you can go long afterwards. Oh, you started reaching for the seats way back here. Okay. And consequently, you did show me some power. Right. Not too bad for a guy who hadn't hit a ball in about 15 years, huh? Pretty darn good, eh? <laughs> Pretty darn good. Might have to get you in a game today. <laughs> I'll take it. Good. I'll take it. You get that kind of reaction from a big league hitting instructor. Sounds good. You he, know. So we've now we've gone through the stretching. We've now gone through the hitting. Coming up tomorrow, we go with the all-star outfielder Adam Jones. It doesn't get any bigger than that, right there. And Antoine, I understand you you did bring back a bit of a battle scar from this part of the series. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I don't want to you know show everyone my battle wounds, but you know, with baseball, you know, you got to get your hands in shape and. You'll hear from some of the players here in the coming days that they'll talk about that's one of the things that spring training is all about. Not only getting your legs, you know, your body physically uh, in good condition, but your hands also take a beating. Yeah. I mean, these guys are playing 162 games, and that's not including the postseason should they make it. So it's definitely a yeah, marathon, not a sprint. Still kneeling. And, you know, the, the, the battle scars are there. You know, I got some some boo boos as uh, my little daughter likes to call them you know, on, on the hand. So. Uh, but it's all a part of, you know, so. All right. Well, mm -hmm. you're okay, though. Yes. All right. Well, Antoine will, of course, be back with part three tomorrow. Thanks, mm -hmm. Antoine. Yeah.